In this video, learn how to pronounce leisure in English. We'll focus on the American English pronunciation, which is actually quite different from the British version of this word. The confusion in pronouncing leisure comes first from its spelling, but also each of its individual sounds cause problems for many learners. It includes an L sound, a long E, the unusual Z sound, and the very common ER sound. In American English, we pronounce this word leisure. The first thing to note is the stress pattern. This word has two syllables, and the first has primary stress. Listen, leisure. Now, let's look at the first sound, l. This is a regular L, sometimes called a clear or light L. It's generally fairly easy for learners to pronounce this L, since it's usually quite similar to the L in other languages. There may be a slight difference, however, in tongue position. For the light L, the front of your tongue is just behind your upper front teeth, touching the hard bony area called the alveolar ridge. Hold your tongue there for a moment. Don't release it too quickly. La. The next sound is a long E. You likely have a similar sound in your language, but what makes the English version different is that it's held longer and has a glide and is almost a diphthong. Now a diphthong is two vowel sounds that are blended together to create one sound. So for this E, you want to really stretch it out. And you want to also spread your lips into a smile, like this. E, E, Li. The third sound is the Z sound. This sound is not very common in English. If you don't have this sound in your native language, let me show you how to pronounce it. Start from the SH sound, or SH. Make sure your lips are rounded and tense, like you're going to kiss someone. And then there's a long stream of air down the middle of your tongue. Listen as I do it. SH. SH. Hear that in words like ship or shoe. Now, in order to pronounce the zh sound, we're going to add voicing to the sh, like this, zh, zh. So you'll notice I have that same mouth position for the sh sound. I'm just adding my voice. So I'm making sure that the vocal cords are turned on here in my throat. So you hear this zh sound in words like massage, television, and measure. Want more practice on that sound? Take a look at my Z sound video. And the final sound in the word leisure is the ER sound. Now I talk about this ER sound in a lot of my videos. It's a very high frequency sound in American English, so you really need to master this if you want to speak clear American English. To pronounce the ER sound, your tongue is going to float freely in the middle of your mouth. You want to make sure that it does not touch anything. And you want to make sure that your lips are rounded and tense, like this. Er. Er. This is the sound in the endings of words like water and doctor. Watch my er video for more instruction practice, and to learn the several common spellings for this er sound. This is really tricky. The spelling is not consistent at all for this sound. So please take a look at that video to learn those typical spellings. Since the er sound is in the word ending here, it has weak stress. 
so make sure to pronounce it more quickly and quietly than the first syllable. Listen as I do it. Leisure. Leisure. Now let's say it together. Leisure. Leisure. And now let's practice in some sentences. My grandmother lives in leisure world. I prefer to walk at a more leisurely pace. What do you like to do in your leisure time? Please read over this article at your leisure. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like more personalized help, please take a look at my website or contact me directly to find out more about working with me to improve your English speech and reach your English language goals more quickly. My website is AccentCoachNicole.com or email me at Nicole at NWSOAR.com. You'll also find this info in the written description of this video. Thanks for watching.